Napalm Death were formed in the village of Meriden near Coventry in the United Kingdom in May 1981 by Nick Bullen and Miles Ratledge while the duo were still in their early teenage years. The duo had been playing in amateur bands since 1980 as an extension of their fanzine writing and went through a number of names before choosing Napalm Death in mid-1981. The band were initially inspired by the early wave of punk bands, particularly the anarcho-punk movement and associated groups such as Crass. The first stable lineup of the group consisted of Nicholas Bullen on bass and lead vocals, Simon Oppenheimer on guitars and Miles Ratledge on drums, and lasted from December 1981 to January 1982, Graham Robertson joined on bass in January 1982. Simon Oppenheimer left the group in August 1982 and was replaced by Daryl Fedeski who left the group in October 1982 at this point, Graham Robertson began to play guitar and Finbar Quinn joined on bass and backing vocals, the group played concerts throughout 1982 and 1983, and made four demo recordings in 1982 and 1983 one of which contributed their first released recording to the Bullshit Detector Vol. 3 compilation released by Crass Records in 1984. The band entered a period of hiatus from the end of 1983 onwards, playing only one concert in 1984 with additional vocalist Marion Williams. During this period, Nick Bullen met Justin Broderick, a guitarist from Birmingham with whom he shared an interest in the music of bands such as Killing Joke, Throbbing Gristle, Crass, Amabix, Swans and the developing power electronics scene, Bullen joined Broderick's final project for a period in 1983. In July 1985 Napalm Death briefly reformed in order to appear at a concert at the Mermaid in Birmingham which was also notable as the last concert by final. The group consisted of a four-piece lineup of Miles Ratledge on drums, Bullen performing vocals, bass and guitar, Graham Robertson on guitar and bass, and Damian Arrington on guitar. After this concert Miles Ratledge and Bullen asked Broderick to join Napalm Death as guitarist, with Bullen as vocalist and bass player, the band began to develop a musical style which blended elements of post-punk, heavy hardcore punk in the vein of discharge and thrash metal. The group played their first concert as a trio on August 31, 1985, and began to play regularly in the Birmingham area with a wide range of musicians including icons of filth, concrete socks, the Verrookers, indecent assault, decadence within and the Groundhogs. In September 1985 Peter Shaw joined on bass, the four-piece lineup recorded Hatred Surge on October 23, 1985 which the band made available at their concerts and by mail. Following the recording of the demo, Bullen and Broderick wished to extend their exploration of a more extreme musical style which created a split in the group with Ratledge as a result, the group splintered and Mick Harris was asked to join as drummer in December 1985. The trio made their first performance on December 15, 1985 and went on to play many concerts in 1986, predominantly in the Birmingham area with musicians such as Amabix, Antisect, Chaos UK, Barookers, Disorder and Dirge. The group recorded a sixth demo, From Enslavement to Obliteration on March 15, 1986, which the group made available at their concerts and through mail, before making a seventh recording later that year scum which was provisionally intended to form part of a split LP with the English hardcore band Atavistic on Manic Ears Records. This recording later became the first side of the band's debut album Scum in 1987. The band then faced a number of lineup changes, Nick Bullen was becoming frustrated with the musical direction of the group, and began to lose interest as a whole, as a result Jim Whiteley was asked to join as bass player. The band played a number of concerts as a four-piece before Justin Broderick left the group to play drums for local band Head of David, the group attempted to find a new guitarist by asking Shane Embury to join and giving a trial period to Frank Healy. After Broderick's departure, Nick Bullen's dissatisfaction with the musical direction of the group led him to leave the group in December 1986, leaving the group without any of its original members. With the departure of Broderick and Bullen, the remaining members started looking for people who could fill in the roles, guitarist Bill Steer played in a death metal band based in Liverpool called Carcass, and given the affinity between the two, he joined Napalm Death while still playing an active role in the former. They had also asked another friend Coventrian to join as vocalist due to his good relationship with the group, 
Even though he had never been in a band before, this lineup recorded the B-side of the Scum LP at Rich Bitch Studios in early May 1987 and the album was released through Earache Records. The band promptly lost another member just after they undertook a short tour after the release of Scum, Jim Whiteley left the group and Shane Embury moved to bass, the band then appeared on two compilation records, recorded two Peel sessions and a split 7-inch with Japanese band SOB. They also returned to Rich Bitch Studio once more and recorded their second album from Enslavement to Obliteration. A follow-up release to Enslavement came in the form of the six-song 12-inch EP Mentally Murdered, which was to be the last recording with the Harris, Steer, Dorian, and Barry lineup. This EP was recorded at the Slaughterhouse Studios and took on a slightly different sound blending grindcore with death metal, following the release Napalm Death were featured on national television in the United Kingdom in a heavy metal special by Arena. In Florida the group began work on Harmony Corruption, Corruption saw stylistic changes from the band, exhibiting blast beats and slower tempos. Death Metal was a greater influence on Corruption than previous records, following the record's release Live Corruption a live recording of the band's June 30, 1990 performance at the Salisbury Arts Center was released in 1992. Negative fan reactions to Corruption and accusations of selling out, compelled the band to reconsider its stylistic changes. The group entered Eddie Van Dale's Violent Noise Experience Club in March 1991 to record six new tracks, the songs produced by this session and released on the Mass Appeal Madness 12-inch LP exhibited a much more raw quality, again finding favor with fans, this recording along with the mentally murdered 12-inch, the split 7-inch with SOB and live tracks from Live Corruption were released on death by manipulation. Drummer Mick Harris, the only remaining member of the Scum lineup, eventually left Napalm Death due to conflicts with the rest of the group over changes in its stylistic direction. Danny Herrera, a close friend of Jesse Pintado, was brought in as the new drummer. Herrera's drumming style has been noted for its uniqueness being described as Euroblast, a variant of blast beat in which simultaneous eighth notes are played on the right cymbal and kick drum, with alternate eighth notes added on the snare drum. The addition of Herrera would be the last major lineup change of the band, save for Jesse Pintado's future absence, which has yet to be filled. Next was 1998's live release Bootlegged in Japan trailed early the next year by the well-received words from The Exit Wound, which proved to be their final album for Eric. The year 2000 saw the release of the cover's EP leaders not followers in Midsummer. Napalm Death returned to their early grindcore roots to a degree with their next full-length enemy of the music business which was issued in early 2001. Throughout the remainder of the decade, the band reliably stuck to its guns, releasing high-quality albums including Order of the Leech, Smear Campaign, and Time Waits for No Slave, at a rate of roughly one every other year. To ring in 30 years of punishing noise, the grind metal pioneers released their 15th album Utilitarian in 2012, followed by split singles with the Melvins and Insect Warfare in 2013, touring and recording consumed much of 2014. The latter resulted in the release of Apex Predator Easy Meat in January of 2015, it took Napalm Death five years to produce their next record marking their longest ever gap between albums, 2020's Throws of Joy in the Jaws of Defeatism, inspired by the era's febrile socio-political climate took aim at popular trends and fashions, as on the unrelenting single Backlash, Just Because. In 2022 the band issued Resentment is Always Seismic a final throw of throws, a companion piece to Throws of Joy in the Jaws of Defeatism that included the abrasive single Narcissus.